Hey guys, it's Zachary from Quarantine Zone and today we're going to talk all about the Huawei P40 series. I've got the P40 here and the P40 Pro. So we're going to do a quick hands-on hardware specs and talk about all the software updates. Stay tuned. There is a substantial difference in size on both phones. The P40 is 6.1 inches, while the P40 Pro is 6.58 inches. Now, both phones have an OLED display, although the P40 Pro's display has a 90Hz screen, so it's more fluid and better for gaming. Um, both phones also have an inbuilt fingerprint sensor, which Huawei says is actually has a larger sort of sensor area and it's faster than the previous editions so it unlocks quicker. The back of these phones, Huawei has three new colors that they're bringing into Singapore. Um, deep sea blue, blush gold, and silver frost, yes. So the deep sea blue is your usual reflective um, display that I have here on the P40 Pro, but we won't talk about that. What I actually want to talk about is the blush gold and silver frost. Now, I don't have the silver frost with me, but the P40 that I have is the blush gold. If you can see here, this is a brand new sort of like matte display. It's not metallic, it's not shiny, it's not reflective. It's actually very nice to touch. It has um, this shimmery sort of look to it. It even gives the phone a sort of concave effect. It makes it thinner than it is. It looks really cool. As the latest P-series phones from Huawei, the P40 and the P40 Pro are photography monsters. What this is, is that you can see a huge camera bump at the back, and this is because it has a brand new ultra vision camera system. The P40 is a triple camera system that consists of 50 megapixel main sensor, uh, 16 megapixel ultra wide, and 8 megapixel telephoto lens. And on the P40 Pro, we've got four cameras. 50 megapixel main camera, 40 megapixel ultra wide, 12 megapixel telephoto lens, and a 3D depth sensor. Besides the resolution bump from 40 megapixels to 50 megapixels, the ultra vision sensor is one of the largest sensors on a phone today. Even larger than the iPhone 11 and Samsung's um, Galaxy S20 Ultra. It also uses Huawei's RYYB uh, sort of color array and combined this gives the P40 Pro incredible low light performance. With new camera hardware comes improved camera software. The Huawei XD Fusion engine and upgraded AI capabilities of the P40 series feature what Huawei calls AI Golden Snap. So what's AI Golden Snap? It's basically Photoshop magic in your phone. So it does three things. Number one, it can choose the best picture for you. So when you take a shot, it usually, the phone now takes like a burst shot. You see you have a buffer and AI Golden Snap chooses the best shot out of those. The other thing is remove reflection. If you've ever shot anything through a window before, you always see either your hands or you know some parts of the camera. That function tries to remove that reflection so it looks like you're shooting direct. And also, if you always get photobombed by people, there is a remove passerby function now, and you can try to do that. Both the P40 and P40 Pro have 32 megapixel selfie cameras. The only difference is that on the P40, you get an IR sensor, while on the P40 Pro, you also get a depth sensor. So if you're taking selfies with more realistic bokeh effects, the P40 Pro would do the job much better. For example, right, take a sample shot here. Um, you can see if I zoom all the way in, you can see the individual strands of my hair and it's ridiculous. The other thing that this phone can do is that it can now shoot 4K video on the selfie camera. And what that means is now you can shoot really, really good like vlogs with the smartphone just like this 
Hey. Now for the phones themselves, um, the P40 and P40 Pro run on the Kirin 990 5G chipset. This is the same chipset as the previously announced Mate 30 Pro 5G and Mate XS. So in terms of performance, yeah, the phones are similar. Um, the full list of specs are on the screen and you can also check out hardwarezone.com for more information. So yeah, the P40 and the P40 Pro, amazing phones. But you know what? The questions that we keep getting asked is, does the phone have Google? Well, no. Um, the P40 Pro runs on Android. It is an Android phone. It runs on Android 10. It runs on Huawei's EMUI 10.1. But it is a HMS Android phone and not a GMS Android phone. So what I think the question really should be is, do we need GMS? Well, ever since Huawei launched the Mate 30 Pro last year, right, HMS has been a debated topic. People have always asked, like, how do you get apps on it? How do you get my, my stuff on it? And all those things. We've done on Hardware Zone quite a lot of like features, articles. We've, I've done two videos on this topic itself. We, we've done a very quick, like 100 second, like snap, how do you get stuff on your HMS Android phone? Just one month ago, I did uh, updated HMS video with, with sort of like in-depth tutorials how to get that. And if you haven't watched that yet, please go and watch that. In any case, um, Huawei's updated their tools, like Phone Clone, for example, has become a very powerful tool to copy your data from an old phone to a new phone. Now, the last time I did this, it managed to copy almost 80% of all my Android apps, even though those apps were not in Huawei's app gallery yet. If it's an Android app, it most likely will work on an HMS Android phone. Now, what's the upgrade with phone clone? So this time while I was messing around transferring my stuff, I realized that phone clone even transfers every WhatsApp database from the old phone. Now this was new to me because it never used to transfer WhatsApp before. So I can show you what that does um, where's my old phone? Okay, here we go. Um, I have a P30 Pro here, which I have all my old data. This is a GMS Android phone, if you didn't know. And the P40 Pro is a HMS Android phone. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to transfer WhatsApp. I'm going to show you what this works. complete 4.3 gigabytes of data was transferred now when I click finish and I go back out and search with my whatsapp there's my whatsapp there's my whatsapp if I click whatsapp you'll notice that poof all my data is there all my conversations all my chats um, this includes pictures and videos as well and the thing is once it transfers, it just loads up. That's amazing. Now, Huawei's app gallery has also been getting a lot of love lately. And every time I get a new phone and, and so, you know, start restoring apps and, and going into app gallery and searching for apps, I keep finding new stuff. Now, I know what you're going to say. Like, but Zach, there's still no YouTube. There's still no WhatsApp still no Netflix. Well, yeah, I mean, I've said it before, if you really want to watch YouTube, you can just go to the browser and check out YouTube. The experience is more or less the same. Um, yeah, WhatsApp and Facebook has not made it into the app gallery yet, but they've added sort of official links. You can download um, the official Facebook APK from Facebook itself. You can actually even download WhatsApp whatsapp.com right so you can always get the latest version of whatsapp after you've transferred it from phone clone but you know what for me um, the value of a phone of whether you can actually use a phone as an everyday device 
is not measured by like these big apps. It's not measured by Netflix. You know, it's a bit inconvenient not to have Netflix, but you know, that's not going to spoil my day. What actually causes a phone to be unable to be used every day? Let me tell you, it's local apps. The app gallery has gotten a lot more local apps over the past month and, and this was basically since the last time I did that video. What it has now, for example, is M1's app is there, Starhub's app is there, um, I've got Singtel, Circles.life. Uh, in terms of transport, Comfort, Delgro, Tada, Ride, um, EasyLink's app is there, Healthy365, Watson, FairPrice, uh, what do you have? You've got Lazada, Shopee, um, SP Utilities, I can even pay my utilities bill. Um, AXS payments are there, so most of the things you know that you do day to day is in the app gallery. I'm actually able to take my P40 out as a main device. I, I, I don't need to keep like a separate phone um, most of the time because six months ago, right, we had a major list of apps that I just couldn't live without and it's, it's just not there and you had to find ways of getting it on the phone, site loading and all that. Now, this list is getting shorter and shorter because almost everything that I use on a day-to-day -day basis is already in the app gallery and I think that that's, that's something people should talk about. Um, Huawei has also been upgrading like the built-in apps on the phone and I've noticed that they've replaced like the third-party uh, Office app with actual Microsoft Office and Microsoft Office is actually in the app gallery and it's official. Not only that, Huawei's own video app, right? There's a Huawei video and that's pre-installed on the phone. All the phones get it, right? At first, I thought this was just the regular, you know, video viewer. And once you take videos and, and this shows, it's not. Huawei's video app is a streaming video app. You, you can actually watch TVB dramas with this. Mango TV, TVB, and some of the other Asian stuff that I'm not really familiar with, but hey, TVB dramas, free. That's cool. Now, one of the last things that seem to be missing from, from this jigsaw puzzle on, on usability is mobile payments, right? Um, without GMS, there's no Google Pay. And without Google Pay, you, know, you can't tap and pay, which is something that we are all used to doing right now. I mean, sure, some people would say that you, know, you can just get a credit card and put behind. A lot of people have phone cases and that works. I mean, it's real. But there is now Huawei Pay. How awesome is that? I mean, this literally came in after we got the phones and it's brand new. Um, okay, the only bank and the only one card that's supported right now is ICBC. The fact that Huawei's actually rolled out Huawei Pay in Singapore shows that they're actually actively trying to grow this and, and they've already said that they're trying to get other banks into it as well. I mean, if you remember when, when Apple Pay started or, or Google Pay started, not a lot of local banks were on it as well. We had, we had to wait until you know, people started getting on board. But the very fact that this is now available on a HMS Android phone means another checkbox of things that will eventually work and make the phone much more usable than it is. Well guys, that's our short preview of the Huawei P40 and P40 Pro. Now both these phones are now available for sale. Um, prices on screen. And check out hardwarezone.com for more in-depth previews and reviews of both these phones. And see you next time.
and on the P40 Pro, we've got oh, birds, 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 birds. Three, two, one.